everyone, it's Anita and I'm currently in Oslo, Norway and uh, that's actually my second Oslo vlog. If you haven't seen my first one, I'll link them below. Yeah, so today is also a really great day, it's sunny and we have a lot to do. And uh, unfortunately, I really wanted to uh, go to the National Gallery, but it's closed, actually. So um, that's a bit of a bummer, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to another museum. And yeah, you'll see what else uh, I'm doing as well. But first, I need to go uh, check in at another hotel. The hotel I'm staying now, I only stayed here because a friend of mine booked the hotel and... Uh, if you saw my last vlog, you know that I spontaneously decided to uh, come here. So, and she only booked a room uh, up, in, up until now. So I decided to stay at another hotel for the um, other two nights that I'm here. So yeah, that's why I, I have to move. But yeah, so uh, I hope you enjoy the vlog. I'm really excited to explore more of Oslo. It's such a beautiful city, so yeah. Let's go. So I checked in at the hostel and started to explore the city. The first uh, building I walked past is the Oslo Cathedral. The next stop was the Norwegian Parliament called Storting. Then I stopped at the National Theatre, which is one of Norway's largest and most prominent venues for performance of dramatic arts. There are many sculptures around the theatre. Here's one of the playwright, theatre director and poet Henrik Ibsen. I had to read one of his plays in school, that's why I know him. And this is just the other side of the theatre, it's very beautiful. And like I said, there are several sculptures around it. Currently at the Royal Palace, it's really pretty. The Royal Palace was built in the first half of the 19th century as the Norwegian residence of the French-born King Charles III of Norway, who reigned as King of Norway and Sweden. The palace is the official residence of the current Norwegian monarch. The palace is located in central Oslo and is surrounded by the Palace Park. And then I had lunch at this amazing place called Nordwegen. I had a small Buddha bowl. It was very, very spicy. And uh, it was probably a mistake to drink ginger beer with it. But other than that, it was fantastic. And I just had a piece of lasagna afterwards just because it was so spicy. And for dessert, I had this very delicious Snickers cake. In the end, I ate way too much and I almost couldn't finish it. After that, I went to the Munch Museum, which is an art museum dedicated to the life and works of the Norwegian artist Edward Munch. There are also some works by other artists, like in this exhibition about Russian artworks, but you can kind of see the comparison between those works and his works. Here to show the construction of the new museum, it should open in 2020 and is the reason why some of his works, like his most famous painting, The Scream, are not on display. And in this part of the museum they are displaying some of his more controversial works.
was when I decided to paint Frieses. He calls this series of pictures that depict scenes and tableaus from the life cycle of human beings the freeze of life. Now I'm just walking to the harbour and it's really sunny and nice so I just want to enjoy that and yeah it's been a really long day. Alright so it's the next day and today I'm going to visit some museums and they are like on the other side of Oslo so that's what I thought I would visit them all in one day instead of going back and forth you know so um yeah that's what we're going to do it's also my last day here so I'm trying to make the best of it first I went to the Norwegian Museum of Cultural History called Norsk Folk Museum it's a museum of cultural history with extensive collections of artifacts from all social groups in all regions of the country. It also incorporates a large open-air museum with more than 150 buildings relocated from towns and rural districts. A very interesting building is the Gold Safe Church. It was built in the beginning of the 13th century. Then I went to the Viking Ship Museum. The museum is most famous for the completely whole Oseberg ship, excavated from the largest known ship burial in the world. Other main attractions are the Gokstad ship and Tuna ship. Additionally, the Viking Age display includes sledges, beds, a horse cart, wood carving, tent components, buckets and other grave goods. Not far from here is the Vigeland Museum. If you saw my last vlog, you know that I visited the Vigeland Sculpture Park. And in this museum are the other works of Gustav Vigeland and some other artists. There are also um, some replica sketches and all sorts of preparations for his sculptures at the park so you can see them much detailed and up close here at the museum. So it's the next day and it's time for me to go home um yeah i need to leave right now and yeah i mean it was lovely and yeah i mean i'm excited to go back i missed my dog so <laughs> you know i was like if you have pets let's go home <laughs> Alright, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. 
Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye!